Oh, I need to clean that out. Sheesh. All right, let me go grab my dinner and start heating that before we wander around. But here's a sneak peek real quick. Can you believe this is my campsite? Yeah. All right, so the menu today is going to be pepper jack cheese stuffed chicken with Mexican style street corn and cheese. Let's go ahead and pop this baby in and go wander. Oh, I did test this out at home first to make sure I could cook raw chicken in it successfully. And I can. I did a different dish though. So we'll see how this one is. Now let me show you around this place. Hi friends, Heather from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. You are coming in at the perfect time because I am at the start of my big multi-state road trip through fall color, waterfalls, hopefully wildlife. <laughs> but I am at my first campsite of the trip in North Carolina. It is absolutely beautiful. It's in the Nantenhala, Nantenhala, Nantenhala. I think that's it. <laughs> Let me know down below. <laughs> I'm in the Nantenhala National Forest at Jackrabbit, uh, Jackrabbit Mountain National Recreation Area. It is a Army COE, Corps of Engineers campground, and it is gorgeous. I picked the best time to come. You, if you saw my last video, you got a little sneak peek of it on the way in. Peak colors on the drive-in. I think it's a little past peak here, but it is just gorgeous. Oh, I'm right on the water. I'm going to show you my sight here in a minute and then um, kind of give you a little panorama of the surroundings because I'm just in fall heaven right now. There's leaves everywhere. There's this cool breeze coming in off the water. There's a light drizzle that just stopped. Um, yeah, I'm in heaven. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and um, get to setting up my campsite because I need to do that. As you saw, I have got dinner cooking in the Hot Logic, so I am excited to have that tonight. I'll let you know how it is shortly. And by shortly, I mean probably at least another hour and a half. But in the meantime, I've got about 30 minutes before sunset, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my setup done. I'm going to put my window covers in up here. I think I'm just going to do my curtains in the front. Um... I don't think I need the screens. It's going to be cold and breezy, so I don't think there's going to be any bugs. And I'm just going to keep the windows cracked just a teeny bit because I don't want it to get too cold in here tonight. I'm going to keep my fans on low to circulate a little bit. Um, but the cold front just came through. And okay, let me tell you guys. So on my drive in here, up until about maybe 45 minutes before I pulled into my site, it was still about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. As I made my way in, going up in elevation a little bit, it dropped to about 64. We're in the 50s already, so the cold front that was supposed to come through during the day is just coming through now. And I think it's going to get to below freezing tonight. And I don't even think the highs are supposed to get out of the 40s tomorrow. So <laughs> it's going to be quite a switch from Florida. But I'm going to shut up and get set up and show you around. I have my super obnoxious light on for the time being just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put my window covers on. <clears throat> Which in this setup I keep underneath my bed. Oh gosh, I'm blinding myself. Okay.
little fall vibes. I have absolutely no idea where my other bottle opener is, so we're going to use this can opener instead. Come on, let's go check out the site. Right, it's still pretty damp, so I decided I'm not going to set up my clam tent. But check this out, you guys. All right. I did not have a chance to charge either one of those, but we're going to go ahead and keep them out for now so that they can get some sun tomorrow while I'm out exploring. Alright, in we go for now. Now that I'm going to be cooking more raw meat in my Hot Logic and my mini griddle and things like that, I want to make sure that if I'm doing chicken or fish or whatever that it's safe, of course. So I got a digital thermometer to bring with me and we're going to see if my dinner's ready. You can see I was already having my appetizer <laughs> from Bucky's. If you didn't see my last video, I had a quick pit stop for some snacks. Well, I needed gas anyway, but that was just an excuse. Oh my god, if you could smell how good this smelled right now. I know you can't really see it. Hold on, let me put the flash on. There you go. Oh my gosh, the cheese is oozing out. Alright, let's see what the temp is inside here. Definitely not 165 yet, so not ready. I'll give it another 30 minutes. All right, here we go. We're eating dinner finally, and then we're going to watch our Murder Mystery and Makeup Monday, and then we are going to get ready for bed because I drove for like 10 hours today and I'm pooped. You can see it's cooled down considerably out there. All right, friends, I ate dinner. As you can see, I put my little lights up and I am getting ready to turn in. I watched a little bit of TV, aka YouTube on my phone, which is charging right now. I'll give you a quick peek in a second of what my little setup looks like in here right now. I tried to semi-organize it so that I can head out pretty quickly in the morning. I have my clothes laid out for what I'm going to wear in the morning. I have um, my coffee set up, set out, you know, I kind of set everything out this way so that I have room to maneuver. So I'll give you a quick peek and then I'll say goodnight. I have my dirty laundry started down there took some Tylenol for my headache. I don't think I hydrated enough today. I probably shouldn't have had the hard cider yet. Anyways, I have my kettle out for my coffee tomorrow. I didn't pull out all of my decorations tonight because 
well, I'm tired and I'm leaving really early in the morning, but I did put one pumpkin out. <laughs> and then, like I said, I'm charging my phone. I was going to put a cute little message on my message board over here, but again, tired. I did have time to have a couple chocolate almonds, though. Uh, and I am chugging some water. I did a pretty haphazard job with my lights this time, but my thought process was I think I'm just going to let them dangle down here tomorrow so that they can just stay back there, and then that way I don't have to take them on and off all week. And Flora and Smokey are... Also, as you can see, very tired from today's drive, so they are already turned in for the night. I do have one fan going, although it's pointed that way because it's only 51 degrees in here, so I definitely don't need it. <laughs> you can see I've got my little snack station set up over there. I just ran to the bathroom for the last time. And I think that's going to be it for now. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I have a special treat for you. I'm going to take you to one of my very favorite waterfalls that I've ever visited. So good night for now. Good morning. I fell asleep before I could get under the covers. <laughs> Oops. Okay, it's waterfall time. <sighs> Well, you can see it's about 57 Fahrenheit in here, so not too bad, but it does feel pretty chilly. I currently have my clothes pre-warming under the blanket with me before I put my pants on to go to the bathroom. I figured it would make more sense to change out of my pajamas before my bathroom run, and then that way I won't have to get cold and then change my clothes. Well, technically the sun has come up. <laughs> you just can't see it behind all those clouds. That's the cold front. It is 49 degrees Fahrenheit at the moment, and there is definitely some smoke coming off the mountains at the moment. Whoa. against the cow. It's a very cute. Oh, horse. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, little horsey. We made it right as the sun came out. I can't hear a thing because my ears keep popping closed, but we are at our morning destination and I cannot wait to show you. So let's go. All right, destination one and holy cow, do we even need to go? It's so beautiful. <laughs> I've only been here one other time and it was not peak fall color yet. This is amazing.
time to climb back up there. That was just as magical on camera as it was off for me. And I'm not cold anymore, even though it's 41 now. <laughs> but that climb up, whew, I'm telling you, for this Florida girl, I do not do climbs and elevation well, ever. Even when I was in good shape. But that was Soco Falls, which is in Cherokee, North Carolina, kind of near Maggie Valley, just outside of Great Smoky Mountains National Park and just outside the parkway, which is where we are heading now. And that is going to be the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you're coming along with me on this adventure of mine. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.